Right then guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, I've been doing some work in the house, so that's pretty much all complete. Let's get some work done on this VW camper. You know what guys, everyone subscribed to the channel, uh, thank you. For all those watching for the first time, welcome, my name's Rich, this is my VW T25. Let's get on to do some more repairs, some more dodgy videoing of me trying to do the repairs. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoy this week's video. Let's start more back up, let's get the ball rolling again. You know what guys, it seems uh, generally weird coming around here, it's the first time I've uh, been back around here probably for a couple of months. Uh, there she is, old Polly Gray, just so we left her, just before Christmas. So left her with us, obviously, just to recap, uh, that side painted. We managed to uh, paint the back of them. We've got to paint the lower part of there. And we finished off with the rear quarter and rear sliding door, just that front door to do. So, as I say, <laughs> I haven't been around here for uh, a few months, and in fact, I haven't started it up for a couple of months either. So, we'll see. So yeah, I thought that might be the case. Batch is flat. Um, but I say I haven't sighted it for two months, so um, that should be too, nothing to worry about too much. Uh, we'll have a look in the back and see whether that um, so that's so how we left the back. Bought the wood to do the floor, and then stopped obviously to do the uh, to do the toilet room before uh, and bathroom before Christmas. So. It looks pretty good in there, it doesn't look like that window seal was leaking at all. Uh, everything looks fairly dry, so good stuff really. Um, so let's just charge that battery up, then we're good to go again. So, things for the MOT, things need to get sorted. So, all the welding's done underneath, quite happy with that. Everything else works, that I believe, for the MOT. The only issue, which we knew we were going to have, have an issue with, these trailing arms, but that was my one of my Christmas presents off the wife. Uh, not a new one, so a second hand one we bought. Uh, got it reasonably cheap, but uh, got it from literally two minutes down the road, so I didn't have to travel to fetch it. So that's what we're gonna be trying to work on this weekend. Obviously, I'll show it you in just a sec. Um, it's off the van, we need to split that one, uh, the second hand one. Uh, I want to repair all that, get it all painted. Uh, and then we'll get it put back on the van. So the plan will be to, I'll, I'll, uh, I will turn you around to show you. So first off the plan will be to do the rear sort of suspension and brakes around the back near side rear, uh, which is the one that's gonna fail the MOT simple uh, it's, uh, it's not gonna pass with those sort of 
So I'm going to pass with those um, that rear trailer arm on. And then what we'll do, this one on the opposite side hasn't got any holes in it and it's quite solid but we'll do the same with that we'll strip it put new bushes uh, while we're at it uh, bought some rear lowering springs and we'll uh, we'll put the rear, rear lowering springs while we're there we'll get all those repaired and whatnot else and looking back nice uh, and we'll uh, we'll put those on as well I'm dreading <laughs> I'm dreading opening up this garage because I probably know me just threw it all in there so that's going to be an, another project i'll show you another present i've had off lisa for christmas and i'm you know i mean we know tools so i'll give you an inkling of what she's bought me for christmas but to get it all looking nice i'm gonna to have to sort this garage out um <laughs> we'll open it now it's, it's gonna be like a bomb site i know it and that's gonna be another project but i'm gonna do that in a week i've got to start taking things down the tip um, but we'll have a quick sneak in and see where we left it. So I generally haven't been around here for a couple of months, so it seems a bit weird. It seems a bit weird doing these videos again, to be fair. Um, it takes a while to get into them. When, when you do them, you get more comfortable around them. But um, it seems like we're going back to sort of day one with the first couple of videos. So <laughs> just bear with me again. We'll get back into it. Uh, good thing is, though, we're back. We're back working on it. Right then, let's have a look at this gear rig. Oh my god. I'm sure someone's been here and here made this messy because I can't remember it being this messy um, before I uh, stop working on the van. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I'm going to have to get this organised um, before we start back doing some serious work on this van again. Um, depressing it when you look right don't worry about it too much uh, on afternoons in the week I start taking stuff down the tip stuff I don't need anymore um, obviously at the minute I've kept everything for this van but the things now I know 100% I'm not going to use again so I can throw organize I'm gonna even probably um, level the floor um, to just let, make it look really nice so anyway I'm gonna shut that off I don't look at that anymore it's depressing um, and we'll crack on. Luckily we don't need it for what we're doing uh, for these next few weeks videos, so. I've generally really missed working on the van. Uh, I've generally really missed doing the YouTube videos as well. You know, subscribers have been going up uh, over 400, so thank you very much for everyone who subscribed. Um, um, thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what we can crack on with this year. Are we even though? Still got to be able to go out and let any of us live a semi-normal life again. So we bought the van and then as soon as we seem to bought the van last seems ages ago now and then we this blooming coronavirus started coming and now new different strands that are more difficult and stronger so i hope you're all doing okay um that's the main thing um so it takes the pressure off a little bit of doing the van um because you can't go and use it anyway um but i know what we'd all prefer to be doing living normal lives so uh admiring it for a little bit do that roof as well this year right then I'll show you what we've had for Christmas um, we'll start trying to get this van MOT at least at least I can start using it again there's me a bit of a daily right then guys follow me everything we need is going to be in the shed This 
this is another project. Take you inside, bear with me. So welcome to me uh, little man cave. Uh, get that log burner on there, but it's freezing cold. Uh, clear some bits and bobs out. Just quickly show you around. Awesome mirror there. So there it is. We'll put light into port. We'll have to drag that outside so you can have a look. Bear with me. Right then guys, so it's out the shed. So, this is what we bought second hand. Well, Lisa bought me for Christmas. Um, so, rear train arm that we need. This one's in pretty good condition to be fair, uh, as you can see. But we're gonna have to strip all this, aren't we? Um, I've tried to get that castle nut off. Uh, they're notoriously difficult, apparently, with videos I've watched uh, with a breaker bar, 46 mil sort of socket on. With a scaffolding bar, I've got. A, I've tried to hold the other end in a jack and, and turn it, and, so, and I can't do it. Um, so I'm going to uh, cut it off, I believe, uh, and I'll go that way. I say I do only need the arm. It would be nice though if I could save that sort of uh, rear hub with a wheel bearing in. I, um, I've watched other YouTube uh, people that do a lot of travelling and they keep spares of those. Well, at least somewhere where they can, with a, with a bearing pushed in. So, see if I can start with as much of it while I possibly can. It's just spare parts, really, for, for other stuff. Right, guys. My mate will cuss me for this because he says he was going to heat this up and get this off for me, but I'm just going to cut it off. Um, I don't need it, so I might as well see whether I can uh, cut it off and cut the castle nut off and then just use what I need so I'm gonna do that So even with a, a small little cut there, that's uh, that looks coming loose from there now. It's relief, relief cut, isn't it? I suppose. So I couldn't do it with a. I had it at that end in a jack, the opposite end to the axle, and this with a breaker bar. It just would. That is now off. That's off. Not sure how that fits in there. I wonder if it just bashes out. Choice. 
so the nuts off. Uh, so the nuts off. So I'm not going to use this all way anyway. The one on the van's fine. Um, so we'll carry on stripping this. Get some tools out the house. Completely rotten anyway, so it's not going to be worth worth saving any of it. I don't think. So it's this trailing arm we're we're after. So right, guys. So start stripping this now. I don't know, sixteen or seventeen mil down there. Um, we'll strip that. Uh, we'll strip that. Go and get some tools. I know what you're all thinking. Tools. Which don't have no tools. Um, hello River. It says come on, I'll show you around. Oh god, I need to slip going into the kitchen. Guys, check out my own Christmas present that the wife bought me. Look at my toolbox. Gotta to show you this quickly. So I was collecting the tools, but um, my wife bought me the bottom box and the top box for Christmas, so yeah, I'll check this out. Hey? Okay. We're getting there, ratchet spanner, socket set. What we got here? So we've got files, screwdriver set, drawer at the bottom, all my power tools. Hey. So I'm dead chuffed with that, as you can tell. Struggling for tools all last year. Um, and my wife very kindly uh, bought me a toolbox. That's where I want to do the garage out, do the floor. Uh, Hopefully put it in there, although a bit nervous about putting it in there to be fair. Bought some shelves for the paint and whatnot. So we've got some tools this year anyway. Hopefully make these jobs easier. So let's quickly grab 16mm or 17mm. We'll uh, grab a spar. There's a 16mm. I'll take a 16 and 17 I'm not sure the size. Uh, oh, look, soft clothes as well. It's all right. I was dead excited about showing you all that. I'm chuffed a bit. Uh, never had a tour bus before. So yeah, chuffed a bit. You coming out river? Never go that river. A little uh, cocker spaniel. Uh, got a Labrador as well, he's having a sleep there. Yeah, he's a little bit older. So, try this. couple of springs off there uh, just so we can get them it's easier Right then guys, right then guys, so that is completely rotten, that is that backing plate and whatnot as you can see. Um, so I need to remove these uh, four 22mm um, volts from this train on now. This is where I'm going to have to be careful because I do not want to, um, I don't want to break a bolt in there because that's what I need. That's the reason why we bought it, isn't it? The rear trailing arm, so. Um, and it, I don't think it's going to be easy to get out, just bearing it, just tip you forward. So, I don't know how much this I'll go on camera while I'm trying to get to a good angle. He's on the corner, I'm sure. It's 
and they're quite tight to loosen that up there. It's going to be important to make sure we get a good socket on there, going around anything off. At the minute I haven't. That's alright. Broken. Okay. Let's flip it over, I think, try the other side. So I can't. That's coming off now. So, four bolts there. Whew. Air breath. Right workout. So, they've been, uh, I broke those. Uh, just get them off now. Right, boys. The four bolts are removed. That's how you're trading on. So, it's going to get dark in a bit. So, I'm going to get them, I'm going to get them bushes out there tomorrow, the old ones. And we'll start cleaning this up, get it painted, uh, and then get it put all back together. Well, and then we need to strip the van. Let's come off like that. Right, then, guys, catch you all tomorrow. Right, then, guys, good morning. Um, Sunday, so. What's next to do on this then? We just want to clean it up, don't we? So it's obviously safety gloves, uh, goggles, um, right river. Um, safety gloves, goggles, um, and a grinder and loads of different attachments um, just to get rust off, really. Just tidy it up. So we'll do that. So guys, it's getting there isn't it, um, I'm just going to keep on um, grinding away and cleaning that up ready for paint and then we'll, we'll get the bushes out, I'm not going to record me doing all that, um, once it's all done I'll show you once it's painted, um, whatever else, um, but there's it split, it'll take a while now, I'll just carry on, wire brushing, weaning, what right, Riv, River. You doing? Um, so I'm just going to carry on with that. Right then guys, so that is me pretty much done for this week. Um, didn't finish the trailing arm to be fair. Um, ground out a little bit more and there was a couple of little rust holes going through. I'll throw some pictures um, of what I mean. 
um, but the guy who I bought it, obviously I bought it locally. Uh, he was a big VW sort of fanatic. Um, I sort of text him back with the photos and he says no problem, just drop it back off and he's uh, he's welding that up for me now. So I'd say not too much, not a big issue really, but uh, might as well get these jobs right before we carry on. So that is going to be me done for this week. So guys, if you've managed to get to the end, thanks for watching. If you're new uh, and you just recently subscribed, uh, welcome. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. I say it's not a how to. Um, so they're not how to videos, just you watching me uh, with my progress of uh, doing up my uh, VW T25. Uh, guys, thank you again. Um, hopefully get some on in the next week or next couple of weeks. Get these videos back on and uh, get the work done. I'm going to light the uh, log burner in here and I uh, might do some work to me. Uh, uh, suspension springs might clean them up, which is freezing outside. So I'm going to get some heat on in here and maybe have a crack on with that this afternoon. So see you later.